take down or the praise from time to time is no more. But if the feeling last two weeks or more or start to affect everyday life, this can be a sign of depression. Depression can develop slowly. Someone who depressed does not rely or acknowledge that or acknowledge that they are not feeling or behaving as they usually do. First of all, I would like to pay my highest respects to His Excellency Xi Liang, the Director of American Pre International School, or ABI Senior Management Team, Honorable Judges, Teachers, Ladies and Gentlemen. Good morning, my name is Srin Vidika, a contestant from American Pre International School, Campus 14th Miss Market. Actually, it's such a great honor for me to be here to present you a topic that goes by the word how to support someone dealing with depression. But before going deep into my topic, I would like to define you two important keywords, support and depression. According to Oxford Dictionary, support means they are all a part of the wage of hold up. And depression refers to a feeling of severe despondency and dejection. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what is depression? Well, Depression is a common mental disorder, disorder and a serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you, you act. It affects millions of, affect million of people from young to old and from all walks of life. Depression causes feeling of sadness and lost interest in activity you once enjoy. And there are many reasons of depression. For example, an upsetting and stressful life event such as bereavement, divorce, illness, redundancy, and job or money worries. Anyway, depression is a serious, but fortunately, it is also treatable. If you have never experienced depression before, it is hard to understand what it is like. And today, I have raised up three main ways that you can support someone dealing with depression. Firstly, encourage, encouragement, encouraging professional help. People who suffer from depression may not realize that they don't have to feel that way. The best thing you can do is patiently and firmly encourage them to seek professional help. There are support groups and counselors who can provide help for you. The person with severe depression may also need to take medication to ease their condition, especially encourage them to to talk to a doctor and try to make them understand that the person is a disease that is treatable. It's not something that someone has to drug or with on their own. Secondly, offer encouragement. Sometimes it is hard to understand what to say to someone about depression. You might feel that if you bring up your worry, the person will get angry, feel insulted, or ignore your concern. The best thing you can do is acknowledge and remain the encouraging. For example, if they say that I'm just worthless, you can say that I know how you feel right now, but it is the depression talking. I love you and I'm here for you. And the last point, become a good listener. When people get depressed, they often feel very isolated. One of the best things you can do is let them know that they are not alone and try to make them and try to listen them carefully and patiently the best thing you can do is um, you you should know that your support is the most important um, um, the most important thing that you have to offer in conclusion encouraging professional help offer encouragement and become a good listener are the main solution that can help someone deal with depression for me, I have ever experienced depression before, so that I know how it feels. Believe me, there is not, nothing you cannot do. I can overcome it, you can also. And in the end of the speak, I would like to send my message to all those who are experiencing depression that if you feel ter terrible about yourself, you want to give up, just know that there are many people that are harder than you. You are more precious in this world, more than you will ever know. Everyone, I have to, uh, to send the quote to you. All of the fear will try you in sand. Let go of the worry, release the pain, and live again. Ladies and gentlemen, now my presentation has come to the end. I would, I would like to say thank you everyone for your attention and your time. Thank you.